Well, stocks are broadly higher today, uh, but it's obviously been an extremely volatile week. Uh, week rather, escalations on the U.S.-China trade war, buying yields uh, really uh, getting crushed yesterday, coming back sharply today. A lot of confusion. I want to bring in uh, the Bonson Group CIO, David Bonson, to help us hash it all out. David, uh, you know, earlier today we talked about the credibility of the bond market, which these days feels more emotionally driven than even the stock market. Your thoughts? Emotionally driven and central bank driven. You have central bank actors all over the not country world that have such an interference into the interest rate market and to currencies that it's naturally elevating volatility in the bond market and, and it makes us susceptible to false signals. Now, now the conversely, a lot of investors are thinking, hey, you know what, with these yields so low, I, you know, I read one report where about 55 percent of publicly traded stocks have higher yields now than bonds. So you're someone who talks about dividends. You're someone who talks about a more conservative approach to the market. Is this something an investor should be considering if you are a bond investor or have been eyeing bonds? I think that people should think about it all the time. It's just that when bond yields get this low and stock yields become elevated from weakness in stock prices, it just adds to the attractiveness. Even in a normalized environment, and this has obviously not been normal the last, let's call it, week or so, even in a normal environment, why would anybody want inferior income from something that cannot grow when they can get superior income from something where the income stream will grow, rising dividends, which you know is what we do and believe in, and the underlying asset price can grow. I think it's an incredible opportunity to rethink your risk profile and get better income, better cash flow, and of course, better upside opportunity. I know there's some names you like. I want to just talk about two in the last minute and a half that we have together. Uh, AMJ, uh, the, uh, the uh, Alarian MLP, you were really hot on MLPs coming into the year. It's been a rough ride oh, for yeah. some of them recently. What do you tell investors who are in them? Of course, I'll point out the yield here is an 8.8% yield, so that's a hefty yield. Yeah, so the MLP sector and that particular index, uh, the AMJ ticker, it's up on the year, but it's come back about 7% with this market weakness. So you have roughly, let's call it an 8% yield, but what you own is underlying assets that are hard assets that get paid fees for volume of oil and natural gas. And if there's anything people can say about the Trump administration and, and the management of the economy, it's that they've been very pro-energy. They have a one wonderful strategy for, I think, the future around oil and gas and our ability to export it. Right. This is a way to play it without taking on the risk of the underlying commodity price. All right. Hey, we don't have time for the rest, but I know you like uh, Broadcom AVGO as well. Thank you very much. Always appreciate it, David. Uh, and we'll talk to you again real soon.